Hello my dear friends, we are introducing FACO Spotlight in which we will be taking a look at certain devices and gadgets that are available for ophthalmic use and today let's look at the Hoya preloaded system of intraocular lenses. They come in two type of injector systems, the easy cert which is a screw type and the multi cert which has got both the combination of a screw and a push type of injector. Now this is the preloaded system of the injector. It is conveniently numbered as 1, 2 and 3. Now point number 1 is that you have to remove the restraining bung that exposes a small perforation. 2 is the overlying cover which will enable you to take the injector out of the packaging system. So first inject the viscoelastic, preferably methylcellulose, through this nozzle up to the preferred mark. Then you have number 3 which is also intuitive. This helps you to load the intraocular lens into the nozzle. Once the intraocular lens has been positioned and loaded into the nozzle, we have one more attachment in this injector system which is a small retractable flange that is seen near the nozzle tip. This will enable us to do either a wound assisted injection or an in the bag injection. So while injecting these lenses, many people note that the lenses tend to tumble while you inject. This is because the trailing haptic is folded across the pusher. So one method is to use a Sinsky hook and gently create a lateral movement of the trailing haptic which will enable you to put the lens in the back. Let's watch this technique again. I have retracted the nozzle so I can have an in the back injection. The leading haptic comes out fine. The trailing haptic is curled up near the pusher so you have to just pull it back and as you pull it back you then press the lens posteriorly to inject it into the capsular bag. There is another technique by which you can do it. This also works very well. So once the trailing haptic comes, you rotate the injector 90 degrees in the anticlockwise direction and then just press down on the optic. This will cause the haptic to go inside the capsular bag. So once the leading haptic is injected, as the trailing haptic emerges, just turn the injector system to 90 degrees and this will cause the haptic to spill out and just pressing the optic will cause it to go in the bag. Thank you for your attention.